what's up everyone welcome back to this youtube channel today in this video we are going to discuss the flood fill algorithm and how to use it in our python code flood fill algorithm is mainly used to determine a bounded area connected to a given node in a multi-dimensional array it closely resembles to the bucket tool in paint app in our windows or any other paint app that you use so here on my screen i'm on the windows paint app and you can see i have drawn some shapes in here i have drawn a star and few rectangles and if i want to color all these shapes using this paint app what i can do is i can simply choose a color let's say i choose this yellow color and then take this bucket tool and i can simply click anywhere on the shape where i want to fill the color and it will be colored similarly i can choose some other color and fill this shape and choose some other color fill this shape choose other color and fill this shape so what's happening in the background is that whenever i'm selecting a pixel what the algorithm is doing is it's starting to color all its surrounding pixel until it reaches a boundary or it reaches the corners of our image right here you can see it's reaching the boundary of the shape because you can see this black color line which is defining the shape of our star whenever it is reaching the boundary is stopping coloring the pixels as yellow similarly is doing the same thing here in this rectangular box similarly here so now you have a little bit idea about how this works so if you want to read more about how this algorithm actually works and how to implement it from scratch i'll leave a link down in the description box you can go ahead and check it out and learn more about this algorithm but this video is mainly about using this algorithm in python and we have a library for doing this called the pillow library and we have a module inside the pillow library called image draw which we are going to use today we have done this using this paint app i'll now show you how to do the same thing Thing using the python code so you can see i have this image shapes.png it's actually the same image i made it from this paint app and saved it in my directory now we are going to uh, color all these shapes using python not the paint app so how to do that as i already told you we'll use the pill library and we are going to use the flood fill algorithm so in order to use the pillow library we will import it so i'll say from pil import image and import image draw so after we have imported Imported the required modules we need to open an image so i'll say img equals to image dot open and i need to pass in the path to my image which in case is very simple i'll say shapes dot png in your case it might be different then we need to convert this image this input image into rgb format it's very important step so i'll say img equals to image img dot convert and then pass in the rgb as a string as an argument to this function so this line will convert our original image into rgb format and then we need to define that pixel that uh, target pixel from where we want to color our shape so i'll say target underscore pixel equals to now in order to get this target pixel there's a simple way i'll go to my paint app i want to color this star so i'll position my cursor on that star anywhere on that star and right here down below here i'll get the value of that pixel so if i point my cursor there you can see we are getting 244 comma 163 so I'll, I'll copy those values 244 comma 143 and uh, i'm storing that and these values in at 2 -0. then we need to define the target color so i'll say target color equals to now this will be a tuple of rgb values so the first one will be for the red so we'll say 255 comma 255 comma 0 uh, 255 red 255 green and 0 for the blue channel this will give me a yellow color don't worry about these rgb values if you don't know what they are it's simply a color you can get them from the google by simply searching rgb value of some color and you will get the rgb value and then finally we need to say image draw dot blur fill and this blur fill will take four arguments so first one is the image itself second one is the target pixel and the third one is the target color actually i misspelled it it's target color and i'll say target color here as well and then we need to define the fourth argument which is fresh which is actually the threshold and i'll set it equal to 0 0.5 and then finally we can show the image so now if i run the code you can see we have successfully colored the star shape inside this image you can similarly color this rectangle here go to the paint app put the cursor in the rectangle and get some pixel value which is 314 comma 169 in this case so i'll come here and say 314 comma 169 run the code 
you can see now we have colored this rectangular box so similarly you can color any shape in this image uh, it's really simple so i hope you learned something new from this video give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions comment down below like share subscribe so i'll see you in the next one till then peace out